Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading for the first half of February from the 1st through the 15th. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout this reading and take from it what makes sense for you and release the rest. And let's begin. Let's take a look and see what will be coming up for you this first half of the month. This is part one of your reading. I'll be using the Pining Rose Love Oracle deck by Calico Moon. And if you're interested in part two for the extended, if it resonates with you, I'd love to see you over on my Patreon page. That link, of course, will be listed down below in the description box. So Leo, let's take a look and see what it is that you need to know here. First half of February. We have soon. All right, so maybe something is going to manifest sooner rather than later here. This is interesting, especially based off of this next card. So this is just me and my own wacky interpretation the very first time I used this deck. We see three flames here. We now see a third party. Okay, so when I first saw this card, I was drawn to the flames. I'm like, ooh, this could possibly be an interpretation of a twin flame connection. And so then I was thinking, wait a minute, we've got three flames here. So maybe there's a third person that could be interfering with the twin flame connection or just a connection. It doesn't have to be twin flame. And now we see this third party. So take it if it applies for your situation and your story. And sometimes third parties, it doesn't necessarily mean a romantic rival, although for the most part, it that's typically what it is. But sometimes it can be other factors that are getting in the way of two people coming together. I did a reading once for a client where, you know, she mentioned that there's this third party that was interfering in their relationship. And it ended up being her partner's employer, just having this person work too long and doing way too many hours, and they were just unappreciated at their job. And so because they were constantly working and weren't able to dedicate any of their time towards the relationship, they ended up breaking up because they were never spending any time together. So in that instance, this person's interpretation of a third party was this other person's job. Okay, so that's just an example. It doesn't always have to be infidelity and cheating. We do have messages. We also have reach out. And lastly, we've got our song. Now, it's interesting with this card that we have what appears to be a wedding band. Okay, that's just how it looks to me. It's like a wedding ring. And somebody could have been married here. There's somebody who clearly wants to reach out to you, Leo, or it is you who wants to reach out to somebody. There could be a particular song that you hear and it reminds you of this person. Okay. So this, to me, before I even start pulling any tarot, it already looks complicated, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot. I'll be using my Illuminated Star Tarot deck. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Leo for the first half of this reading. So what's up with this third party? We've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is somebody who is self-sufficient and independent, solo, possibly single. Just because somebody's single, that doesn't mean they're miserable and just sitting at home doing nothing. Because the Nine of Pentacles is also somebody who's out there living life, enjoying their independence, doing well perhaps financially, okay? But part of the reason why they are solo could be due to this third party situation. And so there might be a form of communication that's coming in. As you can see, it does say soon. So it could be the third party who wants to communicate with you, Leo. Now, for some of you guys, and again, take this if it makes sense for you, Leo, you could represent the third party who wants to reach out. Okay. We do have the Page of Pentacles. Now, some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Ambitious person, manifestation, financial opportunity. So there's something about finances that's popping up here for some of you. Maybe your person could be doing very well in their career and their money matters could be looking up. This could also be pertaining to you. 
you know, especially if you're in separation from this person and maybe right now you're just throwing all of your energies into work and your career and making money. And that's absolutely okay. It could also be this third party who's right now just in this position of manifesting as far as their career and money matters. But the one thing that could possibly be missing is love, is romance, is having you be a part of their life. And they want to reach out. They clearly want to send you a message. Look at this next card. You've got the strength card, which of course represents your own Leo energy here. So I'm instinctively feeling just because of this lineup that even though the strength card is about, as you can see, bravery, compassion, inner strength, I'm just feeling here for some of my Leos that this could be the very thing that you are struggling with, struggling to find the strength, the courage to be able to send that message, to reach out to somebody. Maybe you're apprehensive because it is a third party that you want to reach out to. But we have a four of swords and then we've got the ten of swords. So clearly... I can't make this stuff up. Look at how this is lining up. What is this person holding? Look at that. Looks like a wedding ring. Okay, so if it's not a wedding ring, then it could be a promise ring. But that's hard to ignore, guys. This represents a very painful ending to a partnership. There could have been a marriage here that came to an end or a separation because of infidelity and cheating and a third party. That's intense. That is intense. So, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is a slow moving person. But the Knight of Pentacles is known to commit. Some of you could have been dealing with a person who just wasn't ready for the type of commitment that this required. I'm also feeling for some of you that maybe you guys got married too young or this person was too immature to really see the value of what this type of commitment required. But they're coming through now telling you that they're willing to put in the work that's necessary to be able to perhaps rebuild what fell apart. Possibly. Wow, intense. Yeah, look at this. We've got lots of pentacle energy coming through. Lots of air, I mean air, earth. Earth energy. So Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you guys could have earth in your chart, but of course the person you could be thinking about could also have earth in their chart if they're not an earth sign already. Um, sun sign. But wow, king of pentacles is someone who's very stable. Very abundant. Money matters. Not an issue. So maybe they've worked very hard at this and they're now in a position to be able to be a better partner to be able to provide a life where things are stable and secure because the king of pentacles is ready for love the king of pentacles they're looking for love permanency i'll put it that way a forever kind of love you know and if it was the masculine that got themselves involved with a third party situation i do feel part of the reason why they want to reach out is because maybe they've learned their lesson they've worked on themselves the four of swords represents that much needed break so that you guys could have healed from something that compromised the relationship and the integrity of the partnership. So this is healing right here. This is recuperation. And this is giving perhaps both of you the opportunity to just reassess the situation and take a much needed break to heal. 
to spend time on your own, to really just kind of refocus. So if healing isn't quite done here, then maybe, you know, that's why things are moving slowly. But I, I'm feeling it very strongly from the Divine Masculine that they regret that things fell apart and ended and they want nothing more than to reconnect with you, Divine Feminine. So I wouldn't be surprised if they reached out, possibly the first half of the month. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue to explore this in part two of this reading over on my Patreon page, if that's something that you're interested in and if this resonated with you. Or you can request a personal private reading from me if that's something that you're interested in, at, interested in as well. And that link also is down below. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. And I'll see you next time. Take care.